just so y'all can see that I'm not necessarily trying to sh cheat the system so the white mama dominates everyone, here's the settings I'm using for both sides. It's on casual. I don't have it on simulation because, well, Brian Scalabrini coming out of retirement and it isn't exactly simulation. He retired five years ago, and he was possibly the worst player in the league back then. So here's what I'm using. As y'all can see here, the user settings and the CPU settings are the same. And load the roster here. Okay, here we go, folks. Here's Scalabrini stats. Here's 52 overall. In 2K12, which is his final appearance, he was a 40 overall. But the ratings were different back then. You could make players all the way down to 25 overall. I think for this one, the lowest you can go is like a 47. So this is the equivalent of him being a 32 in 2K12, which I think that's realistic given he's gotten older and he hasn't played in a while. But the only thing he's decent in is mid-range and three-point shooting. Three-point shooting isn't really a D-. I have it set to where he's like pretty not much nothing on moving theories, but... All right, like a 75 on standing, like non-moving threes. Because I think that's realistic. He didn't have the best balance. So moving threes, he probably wasn't all that accurate on. But for standing threes, he was actually not bad. I honestly can't believe he wasn't more of an integral player just because he was a tall guy that could shoot. I mean, think about like Steve Novak or something. I don't think Novak is necessarily any better than Scalabrini was, but Novak has had a pretty decent career. But anyway, I hope you all enjoy this, folks. For the next video tomorrow will be the actual gameplay of the White Mamba. So, I hope you all enjoy, folks, because, well, the White Mamba will be facing off against the Minnesota Timberwolves in the first game of the season for the White Mambas at the Cracker Box Arena.